All right, so Jadian, Wadian, we've talked about him a lot of times on the show. Uh, I'm sure y'all, most of you guys know who he is. He uh, was banned on Twitch, I forget why, and now he's streaming on Rumble. Okay. <laughs> you, remember, you know why he was banned on Twitch? Wasn't it Pokey? Oh, so, I don't oh, think Oh, the it Pokey was the harassment. Po That's what I thought, I is don't that... Think I think it was the Pokemane harassment. Okay, because they made up afterwards. He well, was yeah. He w did make up with Pokemane. They, they came to a nice resolution to all of that. But yeah, uh, he was permanently banned from Twitch after he urged his fans to harass fellow streamer Pokemane. Mm. He launched a hate Good. raid. He raided her. Yeah, right. it was a raid thing. And that's then was gnarly. Yeah. That's bad. That's like yeah, the yeah. number one thing not to do, right? Yep. Yeah. They, they don't like when you do that. Mm -hmm. but, he, uh, <laughs> yeah, they, they made amends uh, after a while. Okay, so now he's on uh, Rumble. Which, as everybody knows, is where all the best creators uh, come together mm -hmm. for the best reasons. <laughs> yeah. He put out a video on September 22nd, which is 9-11 squared. 9-11 times 2. It's Z-11. <laughs> My birthday. Uh, on his channel. <laughs> what? <laughs> My birthday. September 22? Yeah, dude. It's Z-11. He also... Z-11. He streams on YouTube as well. <laughs> So. Yeah, I was seeing his streams on YouTube, so he probably splits his time. Um, so he says on the September 22 uh, live, Man. he details a story that he credits as the catalyst for his new devotion to Christ. Let's take a listen. Now the question we have is, is he trolling or not? Because after this, all of his live streams are him just doing Bible studies. Yeah. Yeah, my initial, when I just heard about this, I was, because he does pranks and stuff, I was like, oh, it's a He's a goofer. Or, yeah, he's goofing or whatever. But then I saw the volume of content that he's done like this, and I'm questioning now. I have an interesting theory I I, I, that I think might be, might be interesting, but let's watch it. Okay. Actions, you feel me? I was with my girl. We were Ubering back from her college, and then right when we got back to the crib, the Uber driver she looked back at us and she asked us a question. My aunt, me answering it made my heart sunk. But she asked, she said, "If you guys were to die right now, would you go to heaven or would you go to hell?" If my Uber driver asked me that, I'd be like, "Whatever, bro. One star, bye." <laughs> <laughs> my Uber driver asked me if I'm going to heaven or hell. I said, "No conversation." <laughs> Wait, you can do that? There is, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. That's yeah. Yeah. No or just talking. like a preference. Or <laughs> yeah, Are you going to heaven or hell? No talking. I feel like it's such a dick move, though, to put no conversation. Well, then you're going to have people asking you shit like this and giving an existential crisis. But Wait. now he's got the story, man. I want to uh, suggest something because I'm already seeing a lot of disagreement in our chat about if he's trolling or not. So I want to do a poll now before we watch all of it. Good this. idea. And see what people think, and then after we review everything, we can Good do another idea. one. Good Is Jadian trolling with uh, this? Yes. You guys go ahead and vote. I'm gonna play the video. No. He is. I had serious. to be honest with myself. I like had to look into For myself, real? and I was like, the way I'm living. If someone asked me that, I would think I was about to die. It's like. I'm in are you danger. The Green Reaper? <laughs> like, <laughs> right. are you going to heaven or hell? Are you going to kill me? I'd be like, what the fuck? He's Why like, are you uh, asking me? Am I about to die? <laughs> it's like a Javier question. Bardem and uh, exactly. no country for old men. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, all right. From her college, and then right when we got back to the crib, the Uber driver she looked back at us and she asked us a question. My aunt, me answering it made my heart sunk, but she asked. She said. If you guys were to die right now, would you go to heaven or would you go to hell? I had to be honest with myself. I like had to look into myself and I was like, the way I'm living right now, if God was to take my breath away right now, I'm going to hell. I couldn't even lie. Bro, don't be so hard on yourself, man. See, that's bullshit. I don't like that, all that hell shit. It's such bull crap, man. Bull hooey. Steaming pile of bull hooey. <laughs> It's like, you're just a normal guy. You're not going to hell. And if there is a hell that God's gonna send you there, then, then, you know, fuck him. He's dumb. He's a vain, dumb idiot. <laughs> I about dumb. it, chat, you feel me? Like, and you know what's crazy, chat? I be letting so many worldly things dictate how my day's gonna go, you feel me? You got people out here that are battling cancer, uh having horrible, like, you know, being victims of horrible crimes and 
all kinds of stuff, right? And they still have the ability to put a smile on their face and be genuinely happy. I get a strike on my channel and I'm not able to post for a week. I'm over here in the slumps. You would have thought you would have thought my dog died, chat, the way I was around here acting when I was gone for that week, bro. Just pouting, being moody, being rude to people. The only reason why I was acting like that is because I'm letting worldly things dictate. He doesn't seem to be joking at all. He seems to be uh, doing. He seems very uh, yeah, self-aware and yeah. reflective. Because yeah. I, I don't think he would invoke some of these things if he was kidding. Like, there's people dying of cancer and all this. Mm, like, right. that's not that's not funny to joke about. Right. Yeah. I watched some of his lives yesterday when I was looking into this, and I guess over a year ago he was talking on Impulsive's podcast about how he wants to find God and be more religious. He was talking about with George, uh, the previous co-host on Impulsive, and George actually uh, came on Gideon's live, and they talked about it as well. Okay, so, I mean, by the way, interesting to note, the majority think he's trolling. 56% say he's trolling at this moment. Yeah, pretty sharply divided, though. Like, yeah. Pretty close poll. <clears throat> um, and to add on to that, just one more thing. Uh, he said he's not going to be putting out the same type of content, and he was going to release that EDP uh, video, but because he's not doing that anymore, he doesn't want to put on his channel. So his fans were like, oh, what the hell, we want to see it. But he said they're going to put on the other guy's channel i'm sorry i forget his name oh i forgot where is that i'm waiting for that it's coming soon but it is going to come out just not on jideon's channel hmm dude something happened with edp that's what happened this man found god <laughs> yeah. he saw something he was disturbed yeah he seems genuine to me right now though. how my spirit is and like you know the bible talks about it all the time you know you you can't be moved by the world. You have to hate the world. Chat, like, it, it's crazy. Like, Jesus is telling me that I have to hate the world, but the world loves me. You feel me? What? And that's like a honest predicament that I... Th he said... He said Jesus thought is I telling him to hate the world? I must have missed that. Uh, then, play, play you feel again? me? And that's like a honest predicament that I... The world loves me. Like, Jesus is telling me that I have to hate the world, but the world loves me. You feel me? And that's like a honest predicament that I, I thought I was in. I, I just don't know what he means. Like, Jay Well, I, I, hate is probably not the right word for it, but he, he's talking about uh, to not concern yourself with worldly things in, in this world. To dedicate yourself to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. God hates the world? It's not that... Or Jesus hates the world? <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, I never I heard that so. interpretation. Yeah, no. So anyway, that's enough of that. I mean, we've seen he's being, he's being very sincere, in my opinion. Gideon was about to take a gambling deal with my bookie that he uh, turned down. Has he ever and, worked with steak? And, uh, is, that, is he one of those guys? I mean, I don't... Uh, on the top of my head, I don't know. Of, I, I've never seen him do it. Hmm. But, Luke, mean, uh, the next verse, that's how it is with the one who stores up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. And, bro, that's literally what I would have been doing if I took that gambling deal, chat. I would be storing up for myself instead of God. I would be storing up. Like, I was trying to make it seem like, oh, for you guys, just do more giveaways or my parents. But, no, it was my own selfish needs. Bro, I don't need any more money. I, really I don't, don't even smoke weed, but I feel high. Uh, <laughs> okay, that did, didn't strike me as super genuine, that transition. No, <laughs> I think not. that was just an unfortunate edit. There. He hasn't had time for rebranding. Yeah, he hasn't rebranded <laughs> the end card yet. But. I just want to smoke weed and fuck <laughs> bitches. I don't like God. Jesus is a loser. <laughs> Could have not added that. Uh. <laughs> so since this announcement, all of his videos and live streams have been related to him Finding God. Now let's take a look. Let's take a look. Right, and this is what kind of tipped me towards it not being a troll because if it is, you are keeping this up for a really long time, my guy. So he has not put out any content other than this Bible stuff, right? Yeah. At least on his this on his channel. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, this is on. So there's some things to consider. Why does he have the O.J. Simpson subscriber or else up? That doesn't seem Christ like. I think he's rebranded uh, his channel. Yeah. O.J.'s praying. Why wouldn't he change that to a Jesus thing? 
Change the banner. Why do I? What, OJ Simpson's threatening to kill me it's, and my it's wife. A, it's on. It's on the list. It's on the list. It's on the to-do list. Yeah. Okay. And then, what do you think about this thumbnail? It's like the Bible and the big smile and the uh, thumbs up. It's like. <laughs> It seems a little trolly, but then, I mean, he's on here for a long period of time, and I was scrubbing through, and he's reading the Bible, discussing it. Yeah, they're all really long, like hour and a half. Yeah, so hour for 40. weeks now, every day, he's streaming for hours, uh, trolling about believing in God. I, I don't really think so. I think he means People it. are watching, too. It's kind of interesting, like 60,000. I mean, that's a lot for a Bible study. Here, let me show you an example. This one is called Dust My Return to Christ Offendi. Repent with chill stream. <laughs> I sent an example of a, of a good one, I think, where he's reacting to this clip of speed. And he said that he related to this clip so much. Yeah. What is, and then, like, what is this? He plays <laughs> this is this, kind of funny. He plays this at the beginning of all of them. And th this is why I say rumble, because he has this big rumble thing here. For sure, yeah. It's like him in The Sims reading a Bible. It looks, looks like a joke, doesn't it? It, it, it was that looks like maybe it was some AI art that he just made or something. I don't know. Something weird about it. <clears throat> Hold on, let me look at this clip you sent, uh, AB. Are you a Christian? Am I a Christian? Okay. See, that's a very, you know, great question, you know what I'm saying? But let me ask you this. Okay? No, 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 no. Answer the question first. It's okay. a great question. Because a Christian is someone that's repentant of their sins. Why you always That doesn't support sexual immorality. That's not... I'm sorry, these people are so full of it. They're all such arrogant fucking pricks. Like, they're just so judgmental. That's why they do it. So they can fucking judge everyone around them for not being as devoted as them. Such a crock. It's so annoying. Especially when you're, like, at the fucking mall. Like, <laughs> dude, I don't, I don't want to hear I'm going to hell. I'm just trying to buy some sneakers. Right. Just trying to get my, my, uh, J's. Yeah. Damn walking for fame but living for jesus someone who's denied themselves pick up their cross. i'm not like i i don't hate really i don't if you're religious i i understand that perspective i just don't like the people who are like ugh, so aggressive and judgmental like this guy is being it's like come on mind your own fucking business australian following i'm not bro these words but like it was like being spoken to me, man. Bro, God uses us in so many different ways. God was using not only David Lane here, but speed. And like, bro, looking looking like look in the speed's eyes, bro. You can like literally see God dude. You can see the <laughs> inner conflict in his eyes. You know what I mean, Chad? And I don't mean this at all to demonize him, because when I seen this, like it had me scared too. Because I was looking at myself, bro, the stuff I do, like you know, it's, it's probably it's, it's worse than what Speed be doing. In all honesty, so like, I was really looking at myself here, chat, and it's crazy. I'm not against you trying to make money okay, or right, making right, good right, music, okay. but if you're a Christian, you need to repent of your sins. Otherwise, just like any person here, not just you, you hey, need, okay, you'll find right. yourself in hell. All right, okay, other way. So are you? A hey, Christian? let me talk. Right. Are you a Christian? See, his demons okay, are getting agitated, all, Chad. No, the guy keeps cutting him off, dude. He's being a hell of annoying. <laughs> you know, I love God. You know, but like, just, just, just if you. Hey, 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 hey. I want to hey, know. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, let me tell you this. <laughs> Stop talking to me, sir. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought so. Chad, like that wasn't even. That wasn't even really speed. That was like his inner demons in him. We all have inner demons with us, bro. Whenever like the word of God is prophesied and you're talking about Jesus Christ and everything, your, your, your demons and stuff, they just get agitated. It's crazy. Like you literally basically. Okay. So that's that. There's people watching though, man. People are getting down with God. It's a lot of people. Yeah. It's crazy. Let's go to the comments. They're all like. Gideon, you have started my spiritual journey at 14 years old. Started reading the Bible and it's going good, bro. You inspired me. The real ones aren't mad at you, but more impressed. You owe it to yourself to devote your energy to something greater. We're all happy for you. He is a real one for this. You can see the Holy Spirit working in him. And while, and he's a different person now. God bless Gideon. It, it's all like very serious. Mm -hmm. We are not under the law, but under grace. I don't even know. What? What? 
God, I like, got it in cash. Got it in cash. So here, I like when he has the Bible. Love me, you yeah. will keep my commands. You know what? Here, we're going to um, the NSB. So we can get, kind of get that. We'll kind of get that uh, New Testament feel. But if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And this is Christ talking. Let me turn that red letter on. Let me turn that red letter on. My brother, man, I hope your Shabbat was blessed and well as well, brother, man. And um, I hope you have a great Shabbat next week or this week. James 2, 24. You still need to live accordingly to his word. We cannot simply rely on the fact that he died for us. Facts, 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 facts. facts. Now, uh, <laughs> Romans 2 and Romans 3 face, face. talk about this. Uh, I forget which one's which, but if I'm not mistaken, I think Romans 2 is about Jews who were like, yo, we already... Go on. That could be a song by it. Keep going. <laughs> it's about Jews who did what? Oh boy. Keep the law. Why do we need to believe in Christ? And then Paul breaks down, you have to believe in Christ because he's the justifier for us. If you won't believe in Christ, then you can't enter into the kingdom. And then in Romans 3, I believe, it talks about people being like, well, if we have faith, why do we even need to keep the law? Because uh, faith may abound. And then uh, Paul says at the end of uh, Romans 3 here, let me. The truth cartel. Brother, God bless you. I would love to talk about the gospel and walking the walk. Find that real quick. Romans 3. Uh, I think it's this last verse. Yeah, here. He's pretty slick with those references, man. He's all over James, Gen Rome, uh, Roman. I don't know. Switching. Right here, right here. Since indeed God who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircum uh, uncircumcised through faith is one. What? Since, wait, what? God will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through faith. Eh? Yeah. I don't, these, a lot of this stuff is like, you really have to try to extract. Yeah, I get nothing from but that. But I love the I love using circumcised uncircumcised as an analogy <laughs> for anything. Yeah. It's pretty poetic. It's pretty fun. Flowery language. We do we then nullify the law through faith? So do we get rid of the law through faith? May it never be. On the contrary, we establish the law. So let's see what establish. Um we'll go. Cool. This man is this man is serious. I don't if this is the troll, I don't know where what it is. He's a world class actor if he's trolling. Is kind of what I think. So my my only theory, plausible theory, is that <clears throat> he's doing this to stick it to rumble or something. Because you know, when you're a streamer, you have to op you have to fulfill a certain amount of hours to get paid. And so the only thing I can think is like, I'm going to do the hours, but fuck you. I'm going to do it so that nobody cares and nobody watches. And he's going to do this Bible study thing. But I don't sense any irony. You know? This man is serious. Yeah. I, I had the same thoughts. Like, I was surprised him talking about demons and everything. And also he's saying stuff like, uh, you know, talking about speed. He's potentially creating problems for himself. Uh it's because of his faith. He believed it. So, it so the last poll was about 50 50. It was actually, it, it was 56% he is trolling. So, majority. majority. Yeah, now it's looking more like 70%. Uh, it just went to 67, but it seems a lot of people have uh, flipped. Wow. Like serious. So, this is, this is real interesting. This man has given it all up for God. He's giving it all up. So, yeah, this poll is circumcised, whereas the one blessed poll is uncircumcised. Or something. God, dude. No way he knows that much if he's trolling. Yeah, dude, he was zipping around that Bible like nothing, dude. Sure. Talking about Paul. You know. The Romans. The Romans, the Jews. Once again, a man t thinking about the Rome. Jews. I just can't get over that, like, they just read one book. It's like there's there's a so many. It's books. a big book. I but there's so many books and <laughs> things in the world. But they just they're like I just fuck with this one book. Mm. I just love this book. I'm gonna read it over and over and over and over. I've read that book. I've read book? it. 
Yeah. Read it again. The Bible is Gideon's Roman Empire. I would say at least he is reading the book because... Kind of. He's doing like cliff notes. He's just doing like weird commandments. Well, most people don't read the Bible from Since front when to back. Abri- Hold on. Since when can you abridge <laughs> God's word? <laughs> well, maybe like once in your life you go from front to back, but at, you know, then you skip around. The abridged version. Like but well, how much is there to think about? Like genuinely. There's a lot going on. It's a big book. Yeah, I'm trying to understand each verse. It's a big book. Yeah, and that's the thing too. And then I mean, I you saw he was on some website that has all the different versions because you know there's like a million different translations of the Bible that yeah. all vary slightly and so like you compare between them I mean but people have been doing this like I feel like we've done it there's like people, there's been a lot of analysis there's done the, on the church Bible. you right. know that's like the whole <laughs> their whole thing is like we're gonna read the Bible we're gonna read it again and then we're gonna read it again <laughs> and they've read it again so many times and they've come together and said this is what the Bible means and then they've come together and said this is what the Bible means based on that group, but people are still trying to. They we don't need more to the conversation. I think it. How off- old's the book? Two thousand years. I think it offers a sense of hope for people. I think he might have been feeling lost, and yeah, there's this one thing, this one book, but it everyone turns to it as this sign of hope. I think that's what he's trying to do with it. Sure. Sure. I'm being a little facetious, silly about it, but. Obviously, yeah, people turn to religion when they uh, are in times of need. And um, I'll ask you this question, Zach. If you died right now, would you go to heaven or hell? <laughs> hell, dude. Fuck yeah. <laughs> My man. 